Have you ever felt trapped in a relationship with a narcissist? Navigating such a relationship can feel like walking through a maze blindfolded, but there's a powerful tool at your disposal, the no contact strategy. This self-protective measure involves cutting off all forms of communication with the narcissist, a crucial step in reclaiming your emotional well-being. Why is this so important? Well, narcissists thrive on attention and control. They feed off your reactions, relishing even negative interactions as they strengthen their manipulative behavior. But what happens when you interrupt this pattern? When you go no contact, you're essentially pulling the plug, depriving the narcissist of the supply they crave. This, in turn, empowers you to regain control of your life. This strategy isn't about punishment or revenge, it's far from that. It's about establishing a boundary, protecting yourself from further harm, and prioritizing your emotional well-being. Remember, the no-contact strategy is not about punishment or revenge, it's about protecting yourself and prioritizing your own well-being. Breaking contact with a narcissist can be emotionally challenging. This is a truth many of us know all too well. The journey to reclaiming your emotional well-being may seem like a roller coaster ride, filled with highs and lows. You might grapple with a spectrum of emotions ranging from guilt and sadness to anger and relief. It's perfectly okay to feel these emotions, in fact it's important to acknowledge and accept them. They are part of the healing process. But crucially, don't let these feelings derail your progress, instead, turn them into stepping stones towards recovery. Remember you're not alone in this journey. Reach out to trusted friends, family members or even a therapist. These are your pillars of support, offering a listening ear, a comforting word, or professional advice when you need it. Facing these emotional hurdles is not just a challenge but also a crucial part of your healing journey. Don't shy away from them, embrace them. They are proof of your strength and resilience. Facing these emotional hurdles is a crucial part of your healing journey. Cutting off all communication channels is a necessary step in implementing the no contact strategy. You see, this is about more than just ignoring calls or avoiding messages. It's about creating a barrier strong enough to keep the narcissist from reaching out to you. Picture this. You're blocking their phone number, email address, and all social media accounts. It's like building an emotional fortress, where their words and manipulations can no longer breach your walls. Now here's a tricky part. You might have mutual friends or frequented places where the narcissist could appear. It's crucial to avoid these situations as much as possible. You might think it's too extreme but remember we're talking about your emotional well-being here. This might seem like a drastic measure but it's about establishing clear boundaries. It's about ensuring there are no gaps, no loopholes, for the narcissist to exploit. Establishing clear boundaries is essential in preventing the narcissist from re-entering your life. Now, it's time to focus on your well-being. This phase of recovery is all about you. It's about nurturing your spirit, your body, and your mind. Engaging in activities that bring you joy and relaxation is a powerful way to heal. It could be reading a good book, going for a run or even just spending some quiet time in nature. These activities help you reconnect with yourself and the world around you, away from the stressors that once held you captive. Moreover, it's important to address the emotional scars that narcissistic abuse may have left behind. This might involve seeking professional therapy. Therapists can provide a safe space for you to express your feelings and guide you towards developing healthy coping mechanisms. They can help you understand the dynamics of what you've been through and support you in your healing journey. Prioritizing self-care is a crucial step in your journey towards recovery. It's not just about moving on, it's about moving forward to a healthier, happier you. Healing from narcissistic abuse takes time and patience. This is a journey, not a sprint. And it is completely normal to have moments of doubt or weakness. It's important to remember that these moments are not failures, but part of the process of reclaiming your emotional health. Being patient with yourself is crucial. Healing doesn't happen overnight, and it's okay to take it one day at a time. Remember, every step you take, no matter how small, is progress. Consistency is equally important. Each day you maintain no contact, you're reinforcing your boundaries and strengthening your resolve. Even on difficult days, it's essential to stay the course. Setbacks may occur, and that's okay. Don't let them discourage you. Instead, use them as opportunities to learn and grow. Remember, this journey is about prioritizing your well-being and reclaiming control over your life. Every day you remain no contact is a step towards recovery and self-empowerment, so keep going, you're doing great.